Hello everybody, thanks so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thanks so much for watching my Porsche walkaround videos. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel, please hit the like button and feel free to comment down below. You can also contact me directly via cell phone or email with my contact information being in the video description. In today's walkaround video, the new 2022 Porsche Macan. This vehicle just arrived at our dealership. It's the first 2022 to arrive at our dealership. So in today's video, of course, we're going to take a look at the build specifications of this new 2022 model. We're also going to compare the 2022 to the previous generation, which Porsche produced here in the US between model year 2019 and model year 2021. So we're going to start here with the front fascia, where Porsche has redesigned the front fascia design of the new 2022 model. We see a more aggressively styled front bumper. Now this is a Porsche Macan, not a Macan S or GTS. So look how sporty this front bumper design is with the intake system here on the side in the middle, these beautiful lines going across the double layered front splitter basically on the lower section here of the front bumper. This is the standard design for the new 2022 and really looks very sporty and spectacular. So that's one of the first redesigned is a new design front fascia. Now under the hood, we have a two liter turbocharged four cylinder. It used to be 248 horsepower between model year 2019 and 2021. And the power is now up to 261 horsepower. Still connected to the seven speed PDK dual clutch transmission, a, very, a truly unique offering in the compact SUV segment and also connected to the active all wheel drive system. Now, LED headlights have been standard for the Macan since model year 2019. Of course, we see it also now on the redesigned 2022, the beautiful LED headlights. This specific one, by the way, finished in volcano gray metallic, the dark gray metallic color. And you can also see that this one has been ordered on very spectacular wheels. These are the 21 inch GT design wheels finished in satin platinum. This is a new wheel design for the Porsche Macan. It is also the largest size at 21 inches. And what a beautiful wheel it is, especially in combination with the Volcano Gray Metallic against the Satin Platinum, the matte gray finish on these wheels. Right behind it, we can see the black painted calipers, which is the Macan standard color for the brake calipers. Looking fantastic. Another redesign, so we have a new wheel design, overall multiple different wheels, by the way, is also the Sport Design Mirrors. This used to be an extra on the previous generation Macan and the Sport Design Mirror with this very sporty lower section of the uh, rear view mirror is now standard looking very, very nice. This specific one was ordered with the optional roof rails in high gloss black. That is a specific extra, but for the rest on the side, except the wheels, we also see that this one has the optional exterior color painted side blades. Now the side blades in exterior color is not a new feature within the Porsche brand, but the actual design of the side blades has been changed from model year 2019 to 21 into the 2022, where you can see now that it has a little bit of a skirt effect. So the middle section here, as you see, has a thick edge in the, in the middle section of the side blade, which creates, of course, a wider side blade in general, and therefore a sportier side view on the new side blade. Getting here to the back, we can see the redesigned rear bumper. Before we do so, the rear spoiler has been left alone. So this beautiful high gloss black rear spoiler was also standard on the previous generation. The same with the taillights going all the way across was of course standard between 2019 and 2021. Now this specific one was ordered with the optional clear tail light. So you can see the middle section of the tail light itself is finished in clear. Normally this middle section would be finished in red. Of course, when you turn the vehicle on, it's still gonna illuminate red. The biggest redesign here on the back end is the diffuser element in the rear bumper. Again, this is not an optional sport design package or anything like that. This is the standard design of the rear bumper of the 2022. Look how aggressively styled this lower element of the rear bumper. Again, that pattern that we saw earlier in the front fascia of the Macan is also being used here on the back. Now this specific one does has the optional sport tail pipes, but the actual diffuser element here in the uh, rear bumper is now a standard feature for all Porsche Macans. So looking very sporty, looking very, very cool. What a beautiful look it is here on the back end. Again, this one has the optional sport tail pipes finished in high gloss black and the clear tail lights on the back but the rest of the vehicle on the back end here is standard. So we talked about the roof rails already. This one also has the optional panoramic roof, which is generally a very desirable feature for the Porsche Macan's engine again, up from 248 horsepower to 261. Also the Macan S and the Macan GTS have different horsepower levels versus 2019 to 2021. What a beautiful this specification this one is. Let's have a look on the inside. Well, this one was ordered with a new interior design for the 
Macan. So it used to be agate gray with pebble gray combination where Porsche used agate gray on the upper section of the dashboard and the steering wheel. But agate gray is no longer and they have replaced it with black. So now we have black leather on the top side of the dashboard. And this is called black leather with uh, pebble gray interior. A beautiful interior, very light as you can see. The lightest interior basically within the Macan lineup. This vehicle just arrived, so there's still some coverings as you can see here in the inside, some plastic there. But the vehicle was PDI'd, so I can show it to you guys as soon as possible. So this is an optional leather interior package. Again, black leather on top of the dashboard, the pebble gray leather on the seats, also the lower section of the dashboard finished in pebble gray. Looking at the door, again, we see the beautiful craftsmanship of Porsche with the black leather on the top. The pebble gray stitching going across there. We have the pebble gray leather here in the middle section of the door and on the armrest, a really beautiful interior. Of course, you also have our black. We have our Mojave beige. We have our red, which used to be garnet red and Porsche has now replaced garnet red with Bordeaux to bring it in line with the other Porsche models like the Panamera, the Cayenne, the 911 and also the Cayman and the Boxster. We also redesigned the steering wheel. So here we have the new generation steering wheel for the Porsche Macan, of course, still multifunctional as a standard feature. But it is a new design steering wheel. Again, the sporty elements here in the steering wheel being used by Porsche, looking fantastic. One of the biggest changes on the inside is the new center console. You might have already spotted it, where now the center console is now also a touchpad uh, philosophy. So let me just see if I can turn the vehicle on. There we go. There we can see all the features on the center console. It used to be hard key buttons in the middle section between 2015 to 2021. And now also for 2022, the Porsche Macan is joining in terms of touchpad in the middle. The same, for example, as Porsche Panamera and also Porsche Cayenne. We have here the PCM navigation system still as a standard feature. The size of the screen there has already dramatically increased uh, into 2019. So this is a 10.8 in, 10 inch display here in the middle, again, as a standard feature. This, uh, this one also has the optional Bose surround sound system. You can also already spot it. This one has the optional Bordeaux red seat belts. It's a beautiful little detail. Also the Porsche crest and boss in the headrests as a beautiful factory option. The seats are heated, also ventilated. The seats themselves, by the way, are the 14-way adjustable seats, a very popular seat within the Porsche Macan lineup. And of course, I mentioned already the optional panoramic roof. So the redesign is the new steering wheel, is the new center console, the new interior color, this specific one, black with pebble gray and the pebble gray stitching, looking fantastic. Really nice color, combination overall against the Volcano Gray. And I really like all the details that Porsche has changed on the new 2022. Thank you so much for joining me on this YouTube walkaround video. Once again, my name is Alexander, Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. Please contact me directly if you're in the marketplace for a new Porsche. We're located in South Florida. Again, my cell phone number and email address is in the video description. Thanks so much once again for viewing this video. Let's do a final walk around on the new 2022 Macan. A very successful car, of course, within the Porsche lineup. You can see now the clear taillights are on in terms of the red illumination behind it, looking very sporty and beautiful. Keep sharing the Porsche passion, and I will see you guys next time. Please be safe out there. Bye-bye.